Around 1999, year 2000, a large Moreton Bay fig tree was transplanted for the Hull Street Bypass. There's a picture of it there with the news article. Uh, it cost $200,000 to transplant, but now the new tunnel entry is right where the fig is. There's a look at the fig. Um, it was leaning a bit and they used four bollards with five cables to stabilise the tree. Uh, they bolted through the tree, so uh, there was extensive decay in the tree. There's the base. And throughout the canopy, um, she was an oldie, they reckon about 120 years old. Uh, it's a rainbow lorikeet, and you can see the decay in another stem. Here's one of the through bolts. Not all of them were loaded at, uh, in line. That one had two cables. Here's the one we're going to dissect. So I've got the piece at home, um, and I will cut it along the easiest axis, and I trashed a chain doing this on my O2O. Um, here we go, it's cut in half. You can see the bolt where it went through. The bolt is on the ground. Um, I'll do a bit of a display. This is how it all fit together. I'll do a bit of a um, tap test here because that discoloured heartwood is actually quite hard. It's not it's not um, soft at all. having a poke around with a screwdriver showing you. You can clearly see that discoloured heartwood um, was pre-existing. It was already there. And it was throughout this, this large limb. Remember there was a lot of decay. They drilled through. That's the end that had the big flat square washer. It hardly grew there, so that would have been under compression there as this bolt was being pulled almost in line. It's quite hard, that, that discoloured heartwood. A bit unusual, I can't say I've really seen that before in Horn Bay Fix. I was wondering, that's where the, the eye bolt in was. That's how big the diameter was when they did it. So I'll just mark the original diameter. That was the diameter of the branch when they drilled it about 12 years ago. So it's grown and it was growing all over the hardware since then. see that this there's a little bit of decay just in that spot there where it's soft and I can get the screwdriver in a little. Quite crumbly. It was only in that one particular spot. You can So I'll drill this now to see if there's any difference. say it was perhaps a slight, slightly easier to drill the heartwood than the, um, the sapwood. So I'm not sure what caused that discoloration, but it was, it was still hard, there's no doubt about that. I will take a, a closer look at the swarm. When I drilled it, there was um, still sap or moisture coming out. Um, Again, it's quite crumbly, so it could be the axis upon which we're drilling. Quite crumbly, like sand particles. Um, I'll have a look at the um, sapwood though, and very similar, just more moist. So I'm not, I'm not convinced that that discoloration is, is actually decayed hardwood. It's altered, but um, 
I'll drill in the fat wood now, what grew after bolting. And it's, it's much the same, just more moist. It still crumbles apart. Now you can see where the bolt went through, where they drilled through, it actually brought that discoloured heartwood, heartwood out with it. You can see where it's sort of brought it out towards the outside. But there is a another colour there, another band. I call it the reaction zone. You can see that. So the discoloured heartwood closer to the bolt and then there's a reaction zone to the sapwood. This area here, I call it the reaction zone. So something, remember that was pre-existing timber there, so something happened there. The discoloured heartwood and a bit of a reaction zone. Now we're zooming right in. This is where the eye bolt was, where the cable was attached. This is under tension, this side. And this is where it grew a lot. You can see that's all nice sapwood. There's, there's no decay there at all. That's, that's all pretty good and it was growing around in casing. The interesting part is, you can see the black texture line, that was the diameter. That's the diameter when uh, it was bolted, but it's funny how there's this little zone, little area there, where it just kept all that discoloration away. Unusual. Going to the other end, this is where the square washer was. And you can see not much growth occurred at all under compression there. The tree just didn't really try and grow and encase much of that hardware at that end at all. Looking along the other axis, you can see no discoloration in the heartwood, no change where the bolt went through. It's all very hard, no, not, not soft at all, very hard. So the heartwood, it's where the heartwood was already discolored, there was no change have here the boundary of the reaction zone. You can see the discoloured heartwood, so there's that gap. Same the other side. And just looking down another axis where I cut it again, you can see how it pulled that discoloured heartwood out along the drill hole. That there is all new growth. That all grew after the event. That's the last 11, 12 years of growth, both sides. Clean as a whistle well compartmentalized